another commonly asked question is how do I wait for an item to be in stock? Or the opposite question is how do I check if uh, the graphics card is out of stock? So I have a very simple solution for this and uh, it's the following. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like when it's out of stock, which is very easy to reproduce, unfortunately. So I'm going to open the browser window and you can see here that there's no add to cart button, okay? So there's different ways in which you could check for this. Um, you can try to find the add to cart button, right? And that's what I actually do in the script. And if you can't find it, then it will fail. So as you can see in the code, here we are looking for the add to cart button. And then once we get the add to cart button, we click on the add to cart button. Okay, so let's try uh, that and see what happens. As you can see, there is an error that happens because the web driver uh, couldn't find the button add to cart because it's out of stock. Okay, this is no good, right? Because you want to uh, deal with this error when it happens. So I have a simple solution for you, okay? To catch exceptions in Python. This is very simple. So all I have to do is do a try here. Yeah, then I'll say print out of stock, okay? Another point I wanted to make is that I have a, a variable, uh, I have a setting here which is called implicitly wait. And uh, what happens is when you're loading the page, sometimes the elements don't have enough time to load, right? So the last thing you want is for your script to fail straight away. Because if it fails straight away, it might be that the item is in stock, but because you didn't wait for the, item, uh, the add to cart button to show up, your script fails straight away. So that's why we have this setting here and it's currently set 10 seconds. This means there's a delay, right? So this method here is going to look for an item. Uh, uh, it's, look, it's going to look for something with this X path. And if you can't find that thing, it will fail after 10 seconds. So it's going to give it a chance to show up, but after 10 seconds, it gives up. And that's why you'll see a delay here. So we are trying to do add to cart again, but there is no add to cart. And we should be able to see, instead of an exception, we should be able to see, oh, I didn't get it, okay. All right, so I got an error, and the reason for this error is because I forgot to import uh, this uh, class, because it's not available by default, so I need to do this from selenium.common.exceptions import no such element exception and now it should work so now my expectation is if the item is the add to cart uh, button is not available right it's going to print this message here instead of throwing an exception and you could also uh, use this for uh, any exception handling code you might have for example, you could just wait for, for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, five minutes, whatever you want, and you can do a, a loop here. I can show you how. So let's just imagine I'm doing a loop and uh, I'm going to copy and paste, for example, this URL here. So for, yeah, so I can, I'll do a loop forever. And at the start of my loop, I can load the page and then what I can do if I load the page, I click on add to cart button and then if all goes well, right, maybe I can break the loop. So in this case, so it doesn't keep uh, doing the same thing. And then here, if it's out of stock, we can always do sleep. I don't know, maybe we can sleep for, I don't know, 120 seconds or no, 10 seconds. Don't make it too often because then you'll get challenged. So I would say every maybe five minutes or every 10 minutes, you can basically do nothing. Let's see, 120 seconds. 
could put some some code here to uh, just give me uh, some kind of visual feedback waiting for some time every time I wait right after waiting then I try and open the page again I click try to click the add to cart button and if all goes well right then I I, I do the break here and this break will stop this loop from uh, executing again. If you have any code after this, right, it will execute it. So here there will be code to buy GPU, you know, like the code that goes here. So you can go, uh, if you run this like uh, all the cells, then it, it could, it, it would go to the next cell once it managed to find a knight in stock. But you know what? I recommend you, right? Once you figure out how to make your script work with the Jupyter Notebook, there's an option here. You can export the notebook as a Python, this one here, okay? So let's try this. You can see it's opening this page, loading it. It's, it's trying to add to cart, and you can see it, right? So it's waiting now for some time. It's uh, 120 seconds. I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to wait and then we should see the same thing again it's going to reload the page so as you can see he has tried again and it will keep going and going for hours on end until this uh, item is in back in stock but you know what i don't think it's very efficient to uh, to check each individual uh, product page to be back in stock. There's a much better way, and I actually go through that uh, um, method in another video. 